welcome to April Career and Money Readings. I know that this might be a little bit hard or strange times for you with coronavirus, but I'm going to do the best I can. So that being said, this is for the majority of your rising sign, okay? Your personal situation is going to be best assessed with a private reading just because everybody's in a different location and has a different you know sector that they work in or whatever but um, that's how we're gonna do this so this is for your rising sign you can go ahead and watch it for your Sun sign but this video right here is going to explain to you why you would want to watch career or money readings for your rising sign specifically they're going to be much more accurate for you so let's just get started I forgot to mention that um, love readings are going to look like this and if you're not subscribed that you would want to hit the notification bell and do that so that you're alerted when they come out. Libra, what does career and what does money look like for you generally in the month of April? Okay, so career. Some of you would just might not be working um, or maybe you're leaving your jobs and you're not really thrilled about it, but they weren't the best place for you to be in the long term anyway. Now, as far as money goes, you're just like choosing not to look at it because you might be feeling confused and you don't really know what to expect. Now, for those of you that that's not the case and you're like, I have a friend who is a Libra son, um, and yes, this is for Libra rising more specifically, but um, she works for a soap company. So her job has never been more secure, right? Um, for those of you in that position, this reading is maybe a little bit less for you, but what they're saying is um, career, it's like about thinking and focusing on what it is that makes you happy, really processing that, and then understanding that if you're doing something that you love, you can't not be successful. And then as far as the money goes in alignment with that, they're like, as long as you're um, continuing to take actions in alignment with that, then you will continue to earn money, okay? So um, what do you have to look forward to this month? And they're saying, well, you don't have to make any choices. So that's kind of, they're like laughing. Your spirit guides are like, ha, 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 ha. because decisions are hard for Libras <laughs> historically. Um, so what they're saying is focus on what it is that you want because, and if set goals along the way for um, leading up to your big giant goal because you can actually achieve it, okay? Your, your goals are achievable, but you have to know what those are. And if you don't, um, there's a link in the description box below that will help you uh, kind of, so it'll take you to this page on my website that's called freebies and there's like worksheets you can download to help you figure that out, okay? So what is going to be your biggest um, annoyance? And they're like, some of you are gonna have to feel, or feeling like you're gonna have to step away from something you put a lot of love, time, and energy into and you just really don't wanna have to do that. You don't wanna make that decision because then it just leads to more confusion like what am I going to do next? Which is why it's so important for you to figure out what is it I want long term? What is it I desire? You don't have to know how to get there yet, but you have to at least know what it is so that you can get there. You don't call Domino's and you're like, hi, I want a pizza for delivery and hang up, but not tell them what you want, right? Because otherwise they're not gonna bring you anything. The universe can hand you opportunities and things that you desire if you know what they are and if you ask for them. So what is it that you need to look more closely at? And they're like, you know, what, are, what is it that other people tell you that you're good at? What makes you feel good? Your feelings are so important this month to really understand and know how you feel and why you feel that way. You know, not what other people think you should feel like or what you should do or what you should enjoy. This is about you and looking really closely at what it is that brings you that fire and that contentment and that happiness. So is there any general guidance for career and then um, for money? And so for career, they're saying, um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, okay? You have the control to say, this isn't working for me and I want something better for my life. If you're in that situation where you're discontented, okay? You can move on to bigger, better, more beautiful for yourself. You just have to decide that. And so um, I guess, you know, when they say, oh, well, there's not a lot of decisions to be made because some decisions are being made for you, that is the one decision that you have power over and that you need to control this month. In regards to your money, um, seeds that are not planted do not grow. So if you do not 
Let's say that you um, don't, your workplace closed down because of coronavirus, okay? If you don't go and apply for unemployment, you don't get unemployment. If you don't go and apply for food stamps, you don't get food stamps or, you know, whatever. If you don't, so basically you need to plant seeds for your future, for this time period so that they can grow. But if you do nothing, if you sit there and, and you just kind of like, ah, oh, fuck it, well, you're going to be unhappy about that. They're saying like nothing lasts forever, though. These things are going to change. The energy is going to change moving into May, June, July, you know, whatever. But they're saying you need to really focus on what you want instead of powerlessness and what you don't want. And so that is April. I love you so much. Oh, 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 o